Hi everyone, it is GB here from Ink and Babes. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. Um, today we are going to be doing our first cash stuffing for the month of August and it's going to be a mini cash stuffing. Now for the entire month of August, we are going to be doing mini cash stuffings simply because I've talked about going to Paris um, in August and it's August now. Yay! And uh, so far the vac vacation is looking pretty okay. We do, we've spoken to the hotel, we've asked them, hey, the, those riots and stuff that were happening, should we be concerned, should we cancelled? And they reply to us and say, there's no need to be concerned. So it is a, a green light. So we're going to go. Now, because I know that I'm going to Paris this month, I know that I'm going to be spending a little bit more this month. And I don't want to pressure myself um, into trying to achieve a certain savings target. And then I have the stress of failing or anything like that. So this month, we're not doing any sinking funds. We're just going to be focusing on saving challenges. And all of the money that I save this month, however much it may be, will be applied to my sinking funds at the end of the month. So I'm not going to be stressing myself. I want to enjoy myself for this month. And the next month is my birthday. It's my birthday month next month. So the next two months, I might, you know, you know what I'm saying? So we're keeping things pretty simple. If you haven't watched any of my previous videos where I showed you how I created this binder that I got from my dollar store or my euro store, definitely check the video out. We made a bookmark we made um we set up this binder using some vellum we made our own cash envelopes we even made our own um like place card holders for my sinking funds and different stuff like that so if you missed that video definitely go and check that out but like i said we're not doing any sinking funds so we're actually just going to skip straight over uh the sinking funds and we're also going to skip my 30 envelope challenge how this works is i'm going to cash stuff and i'm going to play my mini challenges to the back here any money that is left over i apply it to my 30 envelope challenge that's why they don't have the amounts this month all right so let's get into our mini savings challenge now today is specifically called Fiverr Fridays. As you would have seen from the title of this video, it is Fiverr Fridays. And what that means is on Fridays, we take five, five euros, or if you're in the US, it would be five dollars. If you'd like to participate in Fiverr Fridays, we take five fives, however much currency, whatever currency that you have. We just take five fives and we're going to be playing Savings Challenge. When the money runs out, it runs out. Now, if you find this exciting, We'll be back here on Tuesday and we're going to be playing Tenor Tuesday. And what does that mean? Well, we take five tens and we spread them across our savings challenges. And that is it. We're keeping things very simple during the month of August. And I'm loving the simplicity. We don't even need a cash tray for this because we only have five fives. All right. Now, because there are no one euro notes, um in uh, euros i did make some place card holders i showed you a tutorial on how you can make these yourself so these are going to be my place card holders for the one euros i don't have a lot of them so i'm hoping that i don't have to use too much but i also have one for two euros as well in ireland we have a one euro coin and we also have a two euro coin as well um and i think that basically we should have enough to work with so i'm just going to rest these right here in case we need them all right i have my saving challenges here we're going to start from the first one and then we'll work our way to the back okay so our first saving challenge for our fiver friday our mini cash stuffing is going to be my new challenge the jackpot dice savings challenge and how this work is each of these have a certain combination three sevens you have to save 20 euros three bells you have to save 10 euros three bars you have to save five euros if you get two cherries and a joker you have to save four euros and if you get two lemons and a joker you have to save three euros all other combinations you only have to save one euro and if you're lucky one of the best casino players in the world and you get three jokers then you get to pick your own amount and that's basically it i did a tutorial on how you can play this definitely check that video out so this month we're going to be using some new dices so this is my new dice and this is going to be my mocha dice last month i think we used white and black dices 
So we're going to change it up this month and we're going to use the mocha dice. But obviously, if we need more dices, I can use the white and the black as well. For this one, you're only going to need three dices. So we're going to put the mocha dice to the side. Um, they look so delicious. I don't know why I gave them food name. Now I want a mocha or caramel frappuccino. Don't they look so pretty? Okay, so let's go ahead and roll our... We only have three spins. If you want to do three spins. But I'm just going to do one spin. I'm just going to do one right here. And then we'll see how we get on. Oh my... What? Oh my god. <laughs> what in the world? How? How is this possible? We got three bars. Okay, so what we said was... Three sevens, what if we have to save 20? Three bells, we would have to save 10. And three bars, we actually have to save five. So for our first game for five of Friday, we get to save five. How cool is that? That is amazing. Okay, let's get my little thing here. And what I'm going to do is I was drawing in, but I'm just going to go ahead and just put an X here to let me know that this slot machine is now closed. We are going to save five for <clears throat> our very first challenge okay jackpot dice well done that was fun i wish it had made a sound ding 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 ding, ding jackpot okay our first challenge is done we're going to stuff our five in there all right moving on so for our thanksgiving saving challenge this is something new that is on my store as well i love thanksgiving the money that i save from thanksgiving is actually going to go to my black friday shopping like early shopping for christmas presents or anything i need for my kids or for the household so i don't have a savings goal for this and again this month we're keeping it very simple very minimal so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to use one dice and i'm going to roll to see what the amount is that i'm going to save for this one all right so for our first amount for thanksgiving we get to save four and i'm just going to write four on this envelope here and uh because i don't have any ones so we're going to need to break this up what i'm going to do is i'm going to i'm going to take out two two twos and a one and we'll rest this here and i'm going to put this to the back of my envelope where i'm going to store all of my cash so two two that's going to go into thanksgiving and that's just going to keep things really, really simple. All right, there we go. I love these place card holders. I mean, I was using the US ones. Okay, so for my next savings, what's this one? Why is there cash in here? Oh, sorry. This is Halloween. So this is cash I would have rolled over from my sinking fund. So I'm just going to put this back into this envelope here. Um, and so we're going to start our new Halloween savings challenge. And this is just going to be for money for costumes or candy or stuff for my kids. So I just wanted to have it dedicated. And these are so cute. I have this in a bundle of three on my Etsy store as well. Uh, I love the pink one. It's just so cute. So we're going to take one of our mocha dice again. And we're just going to roll and see what amount is going to go into Thanksgiving. Halloween. <laughs> All right, two has to go into Halloween, which means we need to change one of these five notes again. So what we're gonna do is, so I need to, this needs to stay here because this is a part of the money that I already owe. So I'm gonna take two twos and a one. I just need to know that this money I already have paid for, like I, this owes me. So if I mix it up with this, I might end up putting this back and not realize that. So two twos and a one, and uh, we need to put two inside here. So I'm just gonna take the two euro one, and now I'm just gonna write on here that we're putting two towards our Halloween savings challenge. All right, that's good. So we're just slide that into there. Okay, next is, this is a new one. This was a freebie from Cute Budgets. Originally in this envelope, I had my Europe savings challenge in there. But I'm doing something different with the Europe Saving Challenge, and we'll get into that in another separate video. So I replaced, I took that out and I replaced it with this one. This was a freebie from Cute Budget. Thank you, Cute Budget. I was looking for a challenge like this, and I love the dice challenges. So it looks like you use two dices. What I'm going to do is I'm going to use two different colors so that I know which one is which one. And 
if you hear any background noise guys that's my kids i have six kids i probably will say that in every video i have six kids so it's hard to tell them all to be quiet what i'm gonna do is the white is gonna be for this side for the i want to say column and the mocha so this is my vanilla this is my mocha and this is going to be for the row okay so we have a one and a one so for our first challenge oh these challenges are treating me so nice today our first challenge we're going to do a two So from this pile here, I would have already paid for this. So this is my money that I that I already have. So I'm just gonna take a two euro coin. I'm a two euro place card holder. And we're gonna use that here. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go ahead and cross out this two. Let me know that I am done with that one. I'm gonna put this in there. So that one is done. Moving right along, let's see how much money we have left. So we do have five in two, five, ten in, in money and two in place card holders. So we have 12, 12 euros left. Okay, so I love vacation. This savings challenge is gonna be used to cash stuff my family vacation. Um, so again, we're just gonna use one dice and we're just gonna roll and see what amount we get. Okay, so for this one, we need to put in three. So I'm gonna have to break down another five, two, two, and a one. I looks like I'm gonna have to make some, some more place card holders very soon. Okay, so we need to put in three. So two, two, and a one. Okay. And for this one, we're just gonna write on our first envelope that we are saving three. Now, obviously, if there is a month that I know that I'm gonna have more disposable cash, then this I will use like more dice. Like I'll either use two or three or something like that. But for now, I'm, I'm fine with starting off with a small amount. So, family vacation is done. Moving on to our Christmas savings challenge. Again, we're just gonna roll the dice for this one. I already have some cash saved in, I have a Christmas sinking fund, so I already, I think so far we have 100 euros saved so far. So we have a good head start on the Christmas. Okay, how much cash do we have left? Two, three, four, and a five. So we have nine left. So let's roll the dice for Christmas and let's see how much we have to save. Oopsie. All right, so another three. So we have a two and a one, and that's gonna go into our Christmas. Just gonna go ahead and write three here. So that was easy. We're definitely making sure that the funds are being stretched across a lot of different envelopes, and I absolutely love that. All right, so we're down to one and a five, which is six. So let's see, this might be the last challenge that we can do. Okay, so this one is birthdays savings challenge. All right, let's see how much we have to save for birthdays. Oh, so this took our five. Okay, so this took the entire five. So we're just gonna go ahead and write five into here. I love birthdays. And we're gonna put this five in here. So, Actually, since we have one left, we should be able to squeeze in one more challenge. And this is a mini savings challenge from Golden Girl Budgets. So we literally only have one left. So we can actually fill this in. Oh, great. So we were able to knock out quite a bit of challenges with just 25 euros. So that is good. I am just going to go ahead and uh, put a X over this one. And this is going to take our last euro for today. Excellent. All right. So that is it. So next week, Tuesday for Tenor Tuesday, we will finish off the remaining saving challenge that I have in here. That's one, two, 
uh, three, four, five, six. We only have about six challenges that we're going to be doing for Tenor Tuesday. And if we finish those six challenges and there's money left over, remember that's going to go stuffed. That's going to get stuffed into our 30, uh, our 30 envelope challenge. So that is it for our Fiverr Friday and our mini cash stuffing. Hope you guys enjoyed. This cash is going to go into an envelope to the back here just to store. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye guys.